Hi everyone, I am Shopnil Banerjee and today in this video we shall talk about vaccines and its types. So what is a vaccine? Vaccine is basically an immunobiological substance that provides us immunity against specific disease. So now the question is which type of immunity does the vaccine provide? Is it active immunity or is it passive immunity? So here remember the vaccine provides us active immunity. Now talking about their types, we have mainly four types of vaccines. They are life attenuated vaccines killed or inactivated vaccines, the subunit vaccines, and finally the combination or mixed vaccines. Now in subunit vaccines, we also have some of their types. So they are toxoids, conjugate vaccines, proteinaceous vaccines, polysaccharide vaccines, and finally the recombinant vaccine. Now we shall discuss some of their examples that in live attenuated vaccines, we have BCG, bacillus, calmate, guarin. We have the OPV vaccines for measles, mumps, rubella, etc. Now in the inactivated or killed vaccines, we have IPV or inactivated polio vaccines. We have vaccines for JE or Japanese encephalitis. And we also have vaccine for KFD that is Kaysenur forest disease. Now talking about the combination or mixed vaccine, we have DPT that stands for diphtheria, pertussis, tetanus. We have MMR, measles, mumps, rubella, and also the pentavalent. It protects us from diphtheria, pertussis, tetanus, Haemophilus influenza B and hepatitis B. Now I shall talk about the subunit vaccines. So in subunit vaccines in toxoids we have tetanus toxoid, diphtheria toxoid. In proteinaceous vaccines we have anthrax vaccines, acellular pertussis vaccine. In polysaccharide vaccines we have meningococcal vaccine, pneumococcal vaccine and vaccine against Haemophilus influenza B. Now talking about the recombinant vaccines we have vaccines for hepatitis B vaccines for anti-HPV or anti-human papilloma virus. Now finally talking about the conjugate vaccines, we have vaccines for Haemophilus influenza B and pneumococcal vaccine. So that was all for this video. I hope it was very easy to understand for you all. So thanks for watching. Have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.